this is our web page and uh, so we have basically built it on react and then the backend services uh, are run uh, on firebase it is like a serverless uh, code which I have run, uh, made it to run on Firebase. So you code it on Node.js and then it runs on Firebase. So this is a separate uh, code that runs only for the web page and then there is a separate part of code that runs on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so uh, whenever a web request is sent from the React, so it will go to the Firebase and then it will fetch the data for uh, uh, the graphs as well as uh, for the camera or the video and then also you can uh, switch the HS API on and off and then there is uh, a backend code which runs on the Python as I said it it will uh, take the detect for the motion and then it will capture the video and then the node.js code will format that video and then it will store it to the Firebase which can be rendered here so if I can show, so where is the mouse? So I can run. So this was taken a while back when I was testing it, and then you can also see that it is continuously looking for values. So this will get changed every five seconds. So whenever the new data comes, it it renders, but we cannot see it. Okay, can you take bring the devices here yeah, so we yeah. can see it? And uh, so I will go to the local host now. Just throw it. You don't have to, you no, don't have just to keep it, it there. Okay. Keep it there. It's okay. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. But the sensor data you can yeah. bring it here, so it's it's mobile. Okay, <laughs> you can take it. Yes. Yes, so that is that are the sensors. These, yeah. Yes, exactly. So this is the sensors. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See so if can you try the switch so I can. The problem is, uh, you I can, can I can take it there. Okay. Or, uh, I have trouble moving the mouse around. I don't find where the mouse is exactly. Now. So I need to change my network. Where is the mouse? You can use external mouse. Still running there, the node is no, it's not running. Maybe I can take it there and I can yeah, do It's not collected yet, we need to wait a few no. seconds. 
Now it's cracked it. No, it's not. You need to know what is the IV. Check the connections to that. I think not the same network. No, that's. Yeah, maybe it's not. Because the same. I think it's on. I guess not. Maybe it's changed here. It's not the IoT here. It's not IoT. No. Check check no, the no, internet. No, it's not the IoT. Okay. Yeah. They have changed it for you. Yeah, it's no. a HKR guest. <laughs> that's why. Okay. Yeah. HKR underscore. Oh. I am. Shouldn't 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 film the password. <laughs> <laughs> Restarted. Uh, what is this uh, application? What is restarted? Uh, I'm starting the entire application which runs on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so it's a so gateway it, application. It's the gateway application, mm. yes. So now once it is started, I'm trying to change this mm. one. Mm. So, yes, it's changed. Mm. So, can you see it again? Mm. So, if you click on so this is the api that is going to contact okay the hs api via this raspberry pi mm -hmm. so what i'm doing is right now it is true set to mm -hmm. true mm -hmm. so i'm changing the status mm -hmm. to false so once i send the command mm -hmm. the status is changed now okay so and then mm -hmm. this can be seen mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so i can now show it on the web 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 page so now, mm, yes, yeah, exactly. Mm. Open. Mm. So Turn. it can be changed on yes. and off. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So can you also show the PIR sensors? Two PIR sensors I can show you on the our real website. Can try. So I have to go go back to other edge your own. So this will wait for five seconds. Mm. Now we have. So can I can you take you a some video? Kind of movement. Mm. Yes, to do some movement. Um, it doesn't look once. Uh, uh, we haven't started it. You, okay. if you want to do a new video, mm. can we can do a new video? Yeah, we can do a new video. Capture new video. We started it. Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, the video is detected. There is a new video, mm. and then there is converted into MP4, and then we have the new. Okay, mm. so now I'll, what I'll do is I'll reload this page and then to see a new video. No, it's the old video. The new video should be downloaded yes. from the cloud. Yeah, we'll wait for five seconds. Yes. <coughs> yep. Yep. Yes, so it's a new video. It's the new video. Mm. Very good. Yeah. So these data they are they are the data from the thingy. From the thingy. This thingy. Okay. So it's uh, yeah. sensors are here. Yeah. So sensors are talking with uh, the the Raspberry Pi has, and then this acts as a gateway and then from this there is a piece of code which sends that the data directly process data directly to the firebase to the firebase yeah mm -hmm. and then uh, we have a separate um, uh, 
database or a hmm. connection or a hmm. document hmm. as we say in mongodb hmm. which uh, holds the data for uh, status of the plug hmm. and then whenever i change it here on the uh, web page it goes directly to the firebase it changes the status and then the um, api on the raspberry pi is called hmm. and then it changes the hmm. status of the plug Mm. and then finally it sends the response back to the web page mm. mm. and then uh, after that this we also have we can we also have a, a video url whenever the video is taken and the url is obtained it stores here on the database so that mm. for us it will be easy to obtain mm. the video mm. so that whenever web page is reloaded Mm. this will be fetched on the front end mm. of our application yes okay pretty good yeah take a photo of everybody <laughs> <laughs> and the myself <laughs> yes Hello. yes yeah. yes thank you very much thank you <laughs>